Uh, hello, uh, this is the quick video to show you how to achieve the uh, hover effect for the card. So the very first thing, I'm going to give them each of them a class. So the main container of this card, I'm going to give it a card container and the next I'm going to give it, call it as card icon title is card title so this is card excerpt The last will be cut button. Okay, so all of them have class now. All right. So um, I'm going to give the simple styling for this card now. First, I'm going to give them uh, some spacing. Okay, I want to make them central. Okay, the next I'm going to adjust the spacing between the items. So the heading, the title, I'm going to give it a margin top uh, one ram and then the excerpt i'm going to give it a margin top and bottom two ram okay nice so i'm I give it a, a basic styling like adding a border two pixel mm, black. Okay, so you see the cut is with black border. So I'm now going to give it a color change on hover. Okay, so you will see the color changes when you hover the card. I like to add the transition effect to this card so it, it will look nicer. Let's add the transition effect. Okay, so the next thing is I'm going to target the inner element. So when I hover the card, so all the color in it will change to the color I prefer. So make sure you go back to the main container of this card and choose here and type your shadow class the first thing I'm going to target is the icon so make sure you remember the icon sorry make sure you remember the class name <laughs> uh, 
card icon okay so the card icon the typography I change to white okay and then the next thing is the card title we're going the same Okay. So here, this is the class name of card excerpt. So make sure you go back to the main container and select the class. Do the same. Card excerpt. Okay, the very last thing is the cut button. Cut button. What I'm going to do is when I hover the card, so the background of the button will change to a different color. Let's say I choose green. We don't see the effect on the spot when we do the styling like this unless we write the custom CSS code. So let's see it in the front front end. Alright. So you will see the color changes. The but then I'm going to give it a transition effect as well. Okay, that's all for this video. So I hope it helped. Thank you for watching.